Hey everyone, today I've got some super exciting news straight from the Midjourney team. They are rolling out a brand new web editor. And trust me, this update is a game changer. Imagine being able to edit, reframe, and repaint your AI-generated images all in one place. I'm going to walk you through every detail of this new interface step by step. By the end of this video, you will be a pro at using this new feature to create stunning visuals. Let's dive right in. First, let's get started by navigating to the new editor. To access it, simply generate your image like you normally would. Once the image is generated, click on the editor option under the image details. Welcome to your new workspace. Here at the top, you will notice a brand new toolbar. You got your brush tool for selecting or restoring parts of the image, which is perfect for those fine tuning moments. You can adjust the brush size to get into those tiny details or go big for broad strokes. Plus, you got scale and aspect ratio presets right here. So, art painting or extending your image beyond its original boundaries is easier than ever. If you make a mistake, you can use back button here to go back to your original image and after changing your prompt, you can go back to your original prompt by using reset prompt button here or simply use Command Z or Control Z. You can use the new editor on all Midjourney images, even if they are created in previous versions. Now let's explore how you can use all of these tools together to create something amazing. Here I'm starting with a 16 to 9 image and I will make it 9 to 16. With zoom out, you can extend the canvas of an image beyond its current boundaries and I hit submit. Then Midjourney will create the image for me in 9 to 16 aspect ratio. The results are very good. If you wanna go back to the editor quickly, you can use the back button of your browser and boom, we are back in the editor to do another edit. In the next example, using brush tool, I will get rid of the peacocks in the photo here. In order to do that, I hit editor and then select peacocks in the image. I carefully selected all peacocks in the image. I will also update my prompt and get rid of the part where peacocks were mentioned. I hit submit and Midjourney removes all peacocks from the images and replaces them with furnitures. In the next example, let's say you want to create a cinematic landscape. Here's a prompt we will start with. Cinematic landscape photography, wide shot, a lone traveler walking through a misty forest at dawn, mountain range in the background. Midjourney generated my image. Let's say I want to add a deer standing on a hill to this composition. I clicked on an editor and I will extend this scene by pulling this up here. And now you can see I have some space on the left side and my image is moved to the right side. I'm updating my prompt, a deer standing on a hill and I hit submit and my generations are done. Here you can see mid journey edit adhere to my composition and see how new element blended seamlessly into my existing image. If you remember on the Discord, after panning to left or right, you were stuck with the horizontal panning and we couldn't pan vertically. But now with the new editor, basically we can continue expanding image in any direction we want. We can add a UFO on the sky here and hit submit and then mid journey edit a UFO to the scenery. At the moment, editor doesn't support full cropping. Let's say you want to adjust the composition to more of a portrait photography mode. And when you hit submit, as you can see, it gives an error. I'm sure by time they will change this and update it because cropping is a, is a major use case. For yeah, next example, let's have fun with brush tool a little bit. We have this nice image, it's a glamour photography. We have a man and a dog and a cool jacket. Let's have a little bit of a fun with this using editor. So I would like to add a Viking helmet to the man's head. It's really important, the selected area. If you select way too much, then man's head and man's face will also change. So I'm choosing enough to give Midjourney enough creative canvas to, to provide me then the best results. Man has worn Viking helmet, his head. And let's hit submit. And Midjourney provides me a nice, modern-looking horned helmet, a fresh, modern take on the Viking helmet. What if I want to have well-known old Viking helmet? For that, after selecting my image, 
I made it very specific that I want an historical Viking helmet made of iron and bone on his head. Let's also go crazy and change aspect ratio to 16 to 9 as well. Let's hit submit and see what happens. So I'm coming close, but not quite there. All coherence of the image, the, the, the modern setup is affecting the results. I have this one, which is a little bit different than what I imagined. So I have this one. It can kind of work out. Not exactly what I want. But my favorite is this because it's really a peluche looking a Viking helmet, which is, which is a very funny and interesting take from Mid Journey. We can conclude that overall coherence of the image it's still making in painting a little bit difficult because you, you really need to specify exactly what you need because overall the modern, the, the fashion coherence is impacting the helmet itself. If you are happy with the results, then it's fine. For our final example, let's push the boundaries with some creative storytelling. I wrote the prompt, cinematic narrative photography, close up shot, a detective examining a mysterious artifact under dim lightning. Cluttered office with old books and papers. Let's hit generate. This already looks intriguing, but let's enhance the mood even more. I will change aspect ratio using presets here to 16 to 9. I will move the image slightly right. And as the final touch, I will update my prompt. Mysterious artifact under a flickering candle casting shadows. So I hit submit and mid journey edit a candle for me to the composition. So when, when we look at the what's next for video editor, in the last office hours, they also mentioned that they are considering to bring editing of non-mid-journey images to the editor. So in future, you will be able to edit non-mid-journey images as well, if they can figure out the whole moderation issue. But I'm really happy with the new image editor. It will definitely improve my workflow. And that's it for today's deep dive into mid-journey's new web editor. With these new tools at your fingertips, Possibilities are endless. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And make sure to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. See you in next video.